Hey guys, Tammy Daring here. Got her camera a little crooked, but that's all good. How are y'all doing today? Yay! So excited to be here with you today. Today is our information sharing time brought to you by Aviv Spa Dead Sea Products. I am the, form the founder and formulator of Aviv Spa Dead Sea Products and as well as manicurist instructor and owner of Totally Pamper Me Dead Sea and CBD Day Spa. With these two companies, we focus on helping our clients look and feel their very, very best, safely, effectively, and non-toxic ways to look and feel your very best. So today is going to be a conversation with you about ways to turn Godzilla feet into Cinderella slippers. OMG, this is something I am a pro at. I work a lot with feet here at Totally Pamper Me, do a lot of pedicures, and I personally battled all kinds of nightmares. I have horrific bunions. I was born with the dumb things, and I had one taken off, and it grew back, and they're telling me that it's, you know, if you want to get it done again, it's going to grow back again, so wait as long as you can. So, I live with bunions. However, I had 10 toenails that had fungus, got rid of all of that naturally, and I started working with people that had really bad calloused feet. I created a product called Concrete Feet First Aid for my dear friend that had a nightmare problem on the bottom of her feet. Her heels looked like the concrete. They were white, they were hard as a rock, they were cracked and they were split. Uh, and she literally would use my concrete around the, at my swimming pool like a file to get rid of the crud that's on the bottom of her feet. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is just horrible. And she's like, there's nothing I can do. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. Uh, she had very, they would catch on things and then they would crack and then they would bleed. She was even using super glue uh, before they started making super glue for skin band-aids as a skin band-aid uh, to keep the skin together because of the bleeding problems that she would have. Uh, and the biggest thing that was I was worried about was that as she was sitting there scraping it on the concrete as hard as she could, that all she was doing was triggering it to grow thicker. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand this. And so I wanna talk with you about that real quick. Let's talk about these foot files, these credo blades, these pumice rocks, the lava stones. Uh, these things are not meant for you to sit down in one sitting and get rid of everything. All right, here's what happens when you sit there, you use a credo blade. What is a credo blade? Uh, if they are using this on you in the nail salon, you guys, you need to run. Do not let them do this. It's against the law for us to have credo blades in the nail salon. Even if it's full of dust, we can get fined $500 by the Board of Cosmetology when they come in and do an inspection in our facility. So those credo blades, it looks like a cheese cutter and it's about this wide, and it's got a blade in the top of it. And what they do is they take it, and they rake it, and they strip it, and they, they get all that, that stuff off. But what happens is a lot of times they get down so deep that they cut the muscle. Then you are a sitting duck for uh, athlete's foot fungus, MRSA, infections beyond belief. You, I mean, it can be a nightmare problem. So you never want to use something like that, period. You just, you don't, especially in nail salons. They're not trained. A podiatrist is trained to use these kind of things, and that's a different creature, okay? I'm talking regular old nail salon, run and get your pedicure. Yeah, they use that thing on my feet all the time. Uh, my feet feel so smooth when I get done. Or, or they nicked me, and now I got this problem. No credo blades. No, 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 no. Pumice stones, lava rocks, do not share them with anybody. And when you get done you need to disinfect it because those little holes in the pumice and the lava rocks, they harbor all that bacteria. So every time you go to reuse it, if you haven't cleaned it, all that junk is still in there. I don't recommend you use lava rocks or pumice stones whatsoever. It, it, definitely never share it. But if you're going to use something like that, let's talk about the way to use it correctly, okay? Number one, you want to soak your feet for at least 20 to 30 minutes 
in a really good warm Dead Sea salt bath. Now I'm talking Dead Sea semi-dry salt, the real deal, not the ripped and stripped stuff, the natural pure Dead Sea salts. Soaking your feet in those Dead Sea salts can help do all kinds of wonderful things for your feet. I work a lot with neuropathy, uh, also with um, uh, neuropathy, uh, plantar fasciitis. These are, these are painful issues in the feet. And the Dead Sea salt helps so much with this problem. I've watched people couldn't hardly walk in, feel like dancing down the hall when we get done. So it is something that is very beneficial and soaking will help uh, soften those calloused areas and get the dead skin where it can be easily removed instead of having to be raked and scraped uh, super hard because that raking and scraping and going down so deep, what happens is, is when you stand back on it, your body says, oh, that's missing. I got to grow it thicker. You don't want that. You want to get rid of it naturally and slowly and, 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 and safely. And so when you get done soaking is when then you can go into using things like uh, I created our, our Concrete Feet Foot Appeal. It's on here backwards. I'm sorry. I forgot to flip the, the camera. Uh, Concrete Feet Foot Appeal. It has essential oils and it has Dead Sea salts, our high magnesium Dead Sea salts. And then it also has oils and butters that actually aid with softening that callus after you've soaked it and you're, you're trying to you work it off using the, the mineral peel. All right. And then what we do in the nail salon is we actually do a wrap and then at slip on heated electric foot mitts with the concrete feet first aid mineral peel on there. So then what's happening is all of those wonderful, uh, that goodness from the minerals, all of the, the oils, the butters, the essential oils, they're penetrating the skin. What happens is, is that helps it to literally feel better from the inside out and hydrate better from the inside out. When you get finished and you rinse it off in the Dead Sea Salts, then you can take your, your foot files, your pumice stones, and you gently in a circular motion. But do you know in our nail salon, we don't have to do anything else. We don't use the files on our client's feet because our client's feet, not feet, <laughs> our client's feet, um, because the mineral peel does all the work. It does it all for you. And so you don't have to worry about that. But if it is a really bad situation and it's something that you are just like, I got to get rid of this, take it gently. All right. One day at a time. Don't try to remove the last year off your feet in one sitting. You take it low and slow. Take it gradual just like your exercise, just like drinking your water. You just do a little bit every day. And over the course of the of time, about a month, you can have absolutely fabulous feet, but you got to do the work for it. Another thing that you can use uh, if you have these nightmare issues after you've done the soaking is we make a product we call Concrete Feet First Aid Stick. Uh, and this is the stick and it comes up like a giant chapstick and then you rub it on the heels and this is made with uh, organic beeswax and virgin organic i mean you name it we i put it in here if i if i work with it i've got it going on baby because i want that all that goodness on me so this stick does fantastic especially on the heels um, and what i recommend is once you're done you actually put on a little pair of um, footies so this way you're not sliding around uh, I also use no uh, the, the low-rise toe socks because of my, my bunion and my bunions and then my toes have issues. So I use little toe socks to keep my toes separated uh, and use it that way. But then you just you roll it back down and put the lid back on. You go to sleep. Now, I like to use the concrete feet stick before I teach exercise class. And I that way, while I'm working out, I can actually... Uh, end up with doing, I don't know what's going on on my phone here. There we go. I, I actually end up with a double whammy. I'm taking care of the bod while I'm taking care of the feet. So the heat actually aids with that stick penetrating even better. So you can go to sleep. You can go to work. You, if, you, if you wear boots at work and you've got problems with your feet, the concrete feet stick can really, really help. If you really are really like me and you love the Dead Sea mud, 
doing mud wraps on your feet are fantastic also. They are out of this world. They're great for detoxification. They're great for softening, uh, making the skin supple, and it just more alive and more vibrant. I have a lot of people say, your skin just glows. It's because I mud every day. I do. I want to know what I'm going to look like when I'm 80, and the only way to know is if I do it every day. We were looking at a picture of me earlier uh, where I was 47 years old, which was 11 years ago this August, and I literally look younger now than I did 11 years ago. It's, I, it's crazy, but you know what? The more you do, the better it gets, and that's what I, I'm, I want to be that walking billboard for what I do here because I want you to understand it works. It really does work. Now, when you get back into the problems with the feet, uh, we also have our Soothing Salve, which is a natural alternative to petroleum jelly. And the best thing that you can do to keep your skin hydrated is, and you know the answer, that gallon a day. I know, we are in, uh, we are moving into the, the final stages of our 30-day beauty encounter. We are now up to requiring 128 ounces of water a day. Got a couple people doing it, and they are reaping the benefits from it. You know, you can talk until you're purple. It, it's until you, you can hear things all day long. Yeah, whatever. That's not for me. Oh, she's nuts. She's crazy. I don't even drink two bottles of water. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Something wrong with you. You need to take care of you better than that. You are a priceless treasure. And these little things that, these, the, these little beauty secrets that I, I teach on, you guys, they work, they add up, they make a difference in your life. Get on board, you know? What are you waiting for? Fight aging now, you know? You're, you're born dying. And you've got only so many days that God has granted you. You don't know when your next one is, your last one is going to be. And every day you wake up is a gift. Every single day is a gift. And so what you do with that gift is what matters. That's why I go live on here every day, but we've actually decided that I'm not gonna go live on here every single day anymore. We're gonna do it a couple of times a week and scarcity is better than uh, all, all the time. So I'm gonna start uh, cutting back on my lives and just doing the things that I've been doing behind the scenes and working with my coaching clients and uh, doing things that way. But you know what? If you want Godzilla feet to turn into Cinderella slippers, there are ways you can do it naturally. But be very careful when you get involved with nail salons. When you go into a nail salon, if they do not have a 100 rating on the wall, turn around and walk out. It's not that hard to do. We have had 14 100s in a row here because we take it seriously in those rooms. We, it's, it's our duty. You know, our little slogan here is no fungus among us. We literally take proper sanitation and disinfection to the nth degree here. I don't ever want to be responsible for somebody getting nail fungus on my watch in my facility. I just, I don't want that. And I really want to help them get rid of that junk. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Uh, if you are interested in our concrete feet stick or our mineral uh, foot appeal, we have these on the new Aviv Spa website, and we have these for sale now. And we have a lot of folks that buy these and love it. We are right now, if you are interested in it, we are looking for testimonials. So if you are interested in becoming a testimonial, reach out to us. Uh, we will give you a discount code uh, to give you a discount on it because it takes a little time for you to do a video. And so we feel like we ought to give back and just reach out to me i'll get you that code and then we'll get you a link where you can upload that video and then we'll use it on our website so so i got for y'all today hey get out there every day that god grants you the amazing gift of life and live laugh love abundantly and with abandon understand you are you are a priceless treasure learn about this temple you walk around in take the best care of it you know you buy a new car and what do you do with that car you take the best care of it don't you you got to put air in the tires you got to put gas in the tank you got to get it clean you got to get it serviced same thing here same thing here but we take it for granted quit taking you for granted 
You're a priceless treasure. Love you so you can give back and love others more. I love you guys. I pray you have a blessed day. If you're watching live, hashtag live. If you're watching on the replay, hashtag replay. And would you please help us share the video? If you've got friends that got foot issues, share the video. Who knows? We might be able to help them. We love you guys. Have a blessed day.